no laser guided saw here. This is old technology. Probably around when Blario first crossed the channel. But still going strong, just like me. Okay, today I hope to make the silencer for the engine. And here on my lathe I've, I've mounted the uh, 12 inch four jaw chuck. It's a massive lump, <laughs> not an easy thing to do. And uh, I'm making a flange here. I've reversed two of the jaws in order to make full use of the hollow spindle as I want to put an inch and three quarter hole in the center of this. I've also locked down my saddle so there's no way it can accidentally go into the jaws of the chuck which is pretty close with these extended ones. Um, I'm just going to pop a, a center drill in the center and then um, follow that by perhaps a half inch drill and then an inch and a half uh, with plenty of cooling. Um, anyway we'll see how we get on. We can use a fairly fast speed just for doing the centers. Uh, all switched on, right. Start that up. Bring him up. Lock that. There's our centre. Let's change the drill. Okay, we made a bit of progress. This is the largest drill I have. Um, we'll have to open up the remainder with a, a boring bar.
Now that we're at uh, near enough the size, so I'll just do a finishing cut. I won't do this by hand, I'll do this by feed. It should give us a nice finish. Oh yes. Brilliant. Whoops. There's a hole for our flange. Sorry for the camera shake. Well here we have the flange welded on the end of the pipe. I've been most of the morning making this, mainly due to interruptions, people coming with little jobs to do. I think I'll pull up the drawbridge and uh, tackle the other end. Trouble is, if you do jobs for nothing, you're never without work, are you? Ah, never mind, we'll crack on and see what happens. Well, I'm pleased to say I haven't had any interruptions this afternoon so I've been able to complete the uh, the silencer. It's a very simple pancake type design very similar to the um, uh, silencers used on Lister D series. Anyway that should do the job. I'm rather pleased with that. Next is the starting handle. I have decided to replace the HT leads. Unfortunately these are very perished and uh, couldn't do much with them. So I'm using modern cable and just soldering the ends up. Got an instant gun here that should, uh, should do the trick. Little drop of multi-cord solder there. That's fine. that one yeah that'll be brilliant the engine uses a Y-Pack Series A impulse magneto but despite replacing the HT leads I've no spark at the plugs so I've investigated this and I've found that uh, with the points open there's a dead short across the, across the points, like so. I initially thought this was the primary winding of the HT magneto. But I disconnected this and I found it's a 0.2 microfarad condenser across the points. And um, so I've replaced this. I've had to replace it with a smaller condenser. Uh, 0.1 microfarad, but this should protect the points well enough. If you're using an analog meter, such as I am here, you can check uh, uh, capacitors um, with an analog meter. The meter should just cock up a little way because the internal batteries of the meter charge up the capacitor, like so. This is something you can't do with a mod modern digital meter you have to have something analogue like this. So there's something to be said for old hat technology. This is my AVO 8 Mark III. It was in its day the service industry standard for well over a decade or so. 
I appreciate some will think it's old hat, especially the younger generation who want bells and whistles. But this is the equipment used in my day and in my opinion still knocks spots off the modern replacement. There's something intrinsically satisfying about using it, just the smell of Bakelite and shallot. Even the leather case feels solid. I wouldn't swap it for the latest gizmo. You won't see many of these things come out of China. Well this is the stage we've got to so far. We're pretty much there. Just the ignition to sort out and uh, to fabricate a a starting handle and we should be all ready for the internal fire machine to run.